Well, now to the COVID pandemic and a stark warning from the National Institutes of Health that the U.S. could soon see 200,000 new cases a day. The Delta strain is blamed for a 350 percent spike in cases since mid-July. CBS's David Begno has more tonight from hard-hit Louisiana. Louisiana is drowning in its fourth COVID wave. Overflowing ICUs at Ochsner Hospital in New Orleans have forced more than 100 doctors to pivot from their normal jobs, including cancer surgeon Brian Moore. A number of us have uh, worked as nurses' aides uh, on day shift and night shift in the ICU to, to help them just do basic stuff. Just in the last month, average daily cases in Louisiana have grown nearly eightfold. Since the start of the weekend, more than 13,200 COVID cases have been reported, with nearly 3,000 people currently hospitalized. That is the highest since the pandemic started. The vast majority are tied to COVID that is spreading in communities rather than settings like nursing homes. Dr. Chuck Burnell is the chief medical officer for Acadian Ambulance. How close are we to medics refusing to transport patients because there are no hospital beds left? We're days away from that happening right now, less than a week. Starting today, everyone in New Orleans, 12 and older, has to show proof of at least one dose of a COVID vaccination or a negative PCR test result within the last 72 hours. Now, this applies to indoor restaurants, bars, and gyms. And beginning tomorrow in New York City, you can't even get by with a negative test. There, it's no vax, no service. USA! USA! Not everyone is happy. Protesters gathered outside the mayor's home at Gracie Mansion Sunday afternoon. Back here in Louisiana, the state's largest newspaper ran an editorial on Sunday that got a lot of attention. We are in the middle of hurricane season, so the headline read, if we fought hurricanes like we're fighting COVID, we'd all drown. Nora? David Begno, thank you.